have you ever been editing a music video and noticed that you absolutely suck at high energy transitions? We've actually been talking about transitions all week and this is video three. Today we're talking about why you might want to incorporate something called flash overlay transitions into your next editing project. How's it going guys? My name is Joshua Lefemi here in beautiful Brisbane, Australia. I feel like we often mimic past in-camera film or lens effects in our modern editing effects to create a sense of legitimacy through an established visual norm. And it's funny how that's the case because a lot of these effects that we're actually copying were actually unwanted effects back in the day. Think about the popularity of artificially created film burns, light leaks, or even lens flares overlays. Back in the day, these were things that professional filmmakers tried their hardest to actually avoid. Flash overlay transitions kind of remind me of light shining through a damaged film segment as it rushes through a film projector. But actual production veterans, feel free to have your say in the comments. I have five really easy examples of flash overlays that you can make. The first one is called a basic flash overlay. Let's say you have two consecutive shots, shot A and shot B. Cut the end off of shot A and bring it to the track above and extend it over shot B. Bring down the opacity of that duplicated shot to 50%, then set the blending mode to screen, and there you go. Next method is called the reverse flash overlay. This transition is built in the exact same way as the basic flash overlay, except you gotta reverse the speed of the duplicated track on top. This creates a slight elastic effect to the transition, and in my opinion, gives it a little bit more energy. The third method is called the pop-up reverse flash overlay. This transition is built the exact same way as the reverse flash overlay, except there is an adjustment layer placed on top of the duplicated clip. Now go to video effects, then to the distort folder, and then drag the transform effect over to that adjustment layer. Increase the scale slightly, and voila, you'll get something like this. The fourth method is called the smooth reverse flash overlay. This transition is built the exact same way as the reverse flash overlay, except the duplicated clip is extended a little bit more over shot B. Then a nice long cross dissolve needs to be placed at the very end. All right guys, stop in the tutorial just for a sec. We created a CRT pack and boy was it a pain to make. We thought it was gonna be pretty easy and it would maybe take a few days, maybe a week to create, but boy were we wrong. It took the three of us almost six weeks to fine tune this CRT effect to where it looked perfect and realistic. We created one CRT effect to use for footage and then another CRT effect that you can use for titles or text. And as a bonus, we took 25 animated titles and fine tuned the CRT effect so that it looked perfect on them. Now you're probably thinking if Chris, Peter and myself spent six weeks on this pack, then we're probably gonna make it pretty expensive to buy. Well, you're wrong. Because guess what? Some of you guys watching already have access to this pack and may not even know it. And for those of you guys that don't have access to it, you can actually get access to it for only $9. Before I tell you how to get it for $9, I'm gonna actually tell you that I'm selling this CRT pack on my website, Luxury Leaks, for $47. But here's the cheat code. If you already have an Envato Element subscription, then you already have unlimited access to this effects pack. I already know that thousands of you that watch the channel already have an Envato Element subscription, and you can actually download this pack at no extra cost. And if you want access to this pack and you don't wanna pay $47, then you can go the Envato Elements route and actually click the link in the description to get your first month for only $9. This will give you access to this easy CRT effects plus titles pack that we've been talking about, as well as unlimited downloads of the entire Envato Elements library. So click in the description and get started today. The last method is called the reverse flash flicker overlay. Just like before, let's say you have two consecutive shots, shot A and shot B. Cut the end off of shot A, bring it to the track above and extend it over shot B. Change the blending mode of that duplicated shot to screen. Right click on the duplicated layer and reverse the speed. Lastly, chop one frame segments out of the end of that duplicated shot. Guys, if you ask me, flash overlay transitions are pretty dope. And we just finished our three video series that we did this month talking about different types of deflection transitions. But I wanna say that there are so many other types of transitions that I want you to check out that we've been covering on this channel for years. I want you to take a look at the playlist below in the description called Olufemi Transitions. Here you'll see tons of videos where each of our teachers talk about a specific transition that I think you should check out. In this video, I talk about track mat transitions. In this video from a few years back, I talk about my favorite transition pack because you and I know most transition packs suck. 
In this really popular transition from Dave, he talks about paper rip transitions. And I love this tutorial from Herman where he talks about multiple transitions that you can use in your music videos. I'm traveling back home to the States for a few weeks, guys, so look out for some dope content being shot stateside. That's it, guys. And if you actually made it to the end of this video, please make sure to add your IG name and your hometown to the comments below.